therapies that are required for the MRE retort pouch. Oxygen barrier transmission rates are required to be less than 0.06 cc's per meter squared per day, and water vapor transmission is required to be less than 0.01 grams per meter squared per day. That's because MREs require a shelf life of three years at 80 degrees Fahrenheit or six months at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, aluminum foil is utilized as the oxygen and water vapor barrier layer. However, aluminum foil is not recyclable, pinholes and stress cracking is a major problem, and the MRE entree cannot be microwave sterilized. Now, if you look to the right of your screen, the current MRE retort pouch packaging structure is shown. The inner layer is a polyolefin, and you have the aluminum foil barrier layer, the polyamide, and the polyester outer layer. Packaging waste is a huge problem with MRE rations. 0.3 pounds of packaging waste is generated per MRE, and over 30,000 tons of packaging waste are generated per year. So any improvement to the material, which could allow us to downgauge, would be a huge cost savings and a big environmental help. The MRE meal bag is a monolayer, low density, linear low-density polyethylene. The retort pouch, as I've discussed, is a quad laminate, including a polyolefin, aluminum foil, polyamine, and polyester. And the MRE non-retort structure is a polyolefin, aluminum foil, and polyester. This is only a trilaminate because it's not retorted. Now I'm going to get into the monolayer films because the presentation is split up into monolayer and multilayer films. The materials that were used for the monolayer films were a retort-grade FDA-approved polypropylene.